I'm good to go. You're good. We're back. Episode 2. Friday Night Flies at uh, Spud Valley Sporting Goods here in Pimby. Uh, I believe we got Scotty Holmes with us and Burke and Ben. We're going to be tying up some coho flies. Seems to be the theme tonight since they are in the river now. Um, so this here is my coho chubby chaser. It's a nice big trailer hook fly. So uh, one of the reasons why we're doing the trailer hook is the coho like to bend the crap out of that and that way we don't have to ruin the whole fly. We can just put on a new hook after. So we'll get into it. Would you like me to pan down? Pan her down. So apparently, <laughs> are we down? So this is called the Wadington That's the camera uh, shaft. Apparently they're not making them anymore, which is a real shame. So if you don't have these, you can grab a large salmon hook, and then after you tie this... They're not making them anymore. Apparently not. That's what everybody's we saying. Found, we found and asked for more this week. But if you can find them, they're wicked. Not Guess a lot what I'm going to show everyone how to do tonight. Ben's going to show you how to do the cheap version. Yeah. Poor man. Yeah. So basically you're like taking a, a regular hook yeah. and then you, you snip off the uh, the hook afterwards. So with the Wadington ones, if you do have one, I don't know if we can see it. Probably not. But this end right here is open. That is Waddington. Sorry. Like not Waddington. Waddington. Blow your Waddington. Blow your... Oh my god, that's a whole awesome scene. Uh, it is a chubby chaser, so... Okay. Yeah. So... We're going to make sure that that open end is in the vise. That is not where we're tying our our tippets to, because uh, if you get a big hole on there, it's just going to rip open that. The other end here is completely secure. So we're going to start by maybe tightening your vise. It's a little bit loud you here. Can tell, you can tell it's live. Yeah. We are live. The you shop tell is still live. open. Yeah. We're selling deer tags. We're slinging deer tags. And trying to tie flies. My advice is legal wagon. All right, we're going to try this again. So we're going to tie in, get our thread going. And I'm going to be doing this whole hook shape here. The rip, wrap, zip, zap. Do it as fast as I can. And real important when you get to the other end that we are going to secure that open end handcuff on there. So we're going to do some really good tough wraps down there. So it is nice and secure. And back to the top. And all the way back. You better go and get yourself some popcorn because you're going to be here for a while. Yeah. Oh, especially if I keep doing popcorn, that. Popcorn, that sounds good. <laughs> well, these, sa these salmon flies, they're more of an art. They are. They're better at catching fishermen than salmon. Oh, but uh, when they look like this thing, I'll tell you, man, that is fishy. Fishy. Beautiful. Oh. Fish popping off. And I have to break my thread, too. That's how you know this uh, is live. Yeah. No edits. You should just have, you should have a, a backup going, eh? All the time, you have to have a backup. No edits here. All right, so we're back in action here. So <coughs> tie it back on and get rid of this broken stuff. So second important part is... I don't even know if we can see this. So this is a trailer hook line. You could also use heavy mono, 50 pound, go heavy. What is this? Light. I use I use backing off of a fly. Backing rod. works too. Um, the trailer Slick hook shooter. is yep. a waxed small braid line, so it's very very strong. It's also stiff. You can see we can bend it and shape it, so you don't get your hook twisting up. Intruder wire works. So really good. the length you're looking for is. Basically, this is the. I'm going for a whole shaft length behind for my hook to be attached to afterwards. You want to make sure you have a good amount hanging over because we're going to tie in and then we're going to fold back and tie in securing this material. So I'm going to go up in through the bottom. I'm going to get my length and I'm going to tie this in super tight. Because basically all the fish pressure is coming onto that string. You do not want that coming out, ruining your day. And just so you know, yeah, grab some popcorn. You're in for the long haul with this fly. It is quite technical, yeah, and there's a lot fun. of... You can build them up how you like. You can be as creative as you want with them, too. Like You can swap out colors and materials. You don't have to use exactly what I have. So I tied it in once, and now I'm... 
folded over material and I'm tying it back through again. There we go, that looks better. Look at that. Yeah, a little high deal. A little high def going. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully so they. I just got a little got bit. Orange hands now. That's all right. Well, he's got orange hands. Well, we were eating cheesies. I was That's in the right. kitchen all day. <laughs> Dipping into the cheese. kitchen stain. All right, so we're in there, and I'm going to make sure this is on there good and tight. There we go. So we're insecure. So basically, that's what you're left with. Ooh. And our hook will go on the end of that after when we're done. Can I just show the uh, millions of viewers here a second? Yeah. Some? You notice we talk a lot about uh, UV on Friday Night Flies. You see the eyes on that on that fly? Watch what happens when I apply ultraviolet light. Shitting! The, the whole pattern just comes to life. So when we say we're using UV, that means it's eating up this uh, ultraviolet light and just bringing things to life. And that's why we're doing it. Take the light away. From Look at the difference. See that? With, out, with. Damn. Hello. Beautiful Big stuff, difference. this UV. Oh, man. We're, yeah, the we're, so, water. we're kind of addicted to it right oh, now, yeah. for sure. Thank Favorite you. material. You'll find that it works, too. It's yeah. unreal. Okay, so I'm tied all the way back. Um, and I'm going to go oh. to the front because I'm going to stick my UV eyes on. Big, heavy eyeballs on here. Use whatever color you like. I'm doing a green fly, so I chose a nice bright yellow green. Chartreuse. We're going to do uh, chartreuse. Thank you. We're going to stay quite a ways back. This fly does have a... Got a lot of material going in there. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff happening, and I use a very large dubbed head so that now, we can you comb it. Asking, but would you tie this yeah, fly with the eyes on the bottom as well there, Boulder? I would, because it's... Yeah, I would. Yeah. Because it's going like to end up too. with... It's going to end up Doesn't going upside down. Yeah. Really. yeah, it would. Which is handy, too, because it's going to avoid a bunch of snags, too, isn't it, when you get this thing bouncing yeah. on the bottom? Yeah, but the nice thing with the trailer is you can put it either way. Yeah. Because you can tie your hook on so it's riding this way, or you flip it around, and it'll be this way. So you can buy be uh, by hook shul with it? You can be by hook shul. Oh, my shul. God. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> you, you just thought of that? By no, hook shul? All right. Bye. I'm kind of tying this real fast, so that's why I'm, I was just sticking on there. We'll do it proper. Not that far into it. We'll do it the way you should do it. Because the weight is on the bottom. It's going to ride down. Alright, so you flip her around. There you go. I'm going to do my little magic. Are you done? Definitely. And that is your fly right there. All right, so she's on the bottom, as Brad did mention. Oh, you're figure eighting. Figure eighting it in so it's nice who, and secure. Who doesn't love doing that? I know. <laughs> it takes forever. But the nice thing with these shafts, though, because they're not round, um, the eyes sit a little evenly. It'd be cool if you could they hire someone just to do the figure eighting for they you. Don't, right? That's they don't it. spin around. It so it's nice and secure in there. It ain't going anywhere. I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to get this fly upright. There we go. Totally We're going to start with the material. So, first, bucktail. I'm going to take a nice little clump. So this is going to be our hanging out of the back of all the hair. Um, and I'm choosing some nice bright. It's a nice bucktail. And you want to measure it up to your hook shank because you, you, <laughs> you want this hook to be riding just like inside the hair. Hook? So that's my like length. Little baby boy. One, two, three, four. Couple good. Oh. Oh my. Okay. I I'll think I'm jinxed tonight. <laughs> Intermission. In yeah. I put a better hook there size. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, I just grabbed what I had. What are you using, six hog? I didn't only know. I just grabbed one. I just kind of grabbed whatever I had right there. The thread, though, we're getting the tight <laughs> yeah. So get your bucktail on there. I try to keep it on the top. Not a big deal if you don't. But I'm also dealing with tying in again. All right. I'm tied in. I'm getting rid of those stupid mishaps. I'm gonna get rid of. You're doing our, so good on the tree limb. Right? I know. 
went no problem, eh? So that's that. We got some tinsel here. Kind of hurry up, no? Eh? That's it. You're yeah, I'm trying up. to go as, 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 as fast, fast as I can. And sometimes it makes it slower. Eh? You're like, Ach. yeah, you start second guessing. Throwing reels across the room, breaking so, things. I'm putting my uh, my nice chenille in, or my crystal in there. It's a crystal flash. This one, a couple of wraps. That shorter stuff, that's all right. It can go in there. It's all going to add some, some body to it. Is that UV as well? The crystal chenille is that one. Yeah. yeah. And now for the big fuzzy body, using some cock capes. That's what they're actually called. Cock capes? <laughs> so what you're going to do... <laughs> the chubby chaser. It's got cock has cape. all kinds of induendos. Yeah. Uh, so we want to grab three of the yellow, or whatever color you want to use. I'm using yellow, and you want to try and get very long ones, because they have the longest feather fibers. So nice and big, you can see we've got big plumes on it. I'm going to match all the tips up so that they're all curved the same way. I don't care if the bottom ends don't match up exactly in length, it's important that the tips do, because that's what you're going to be hanging on to. So they're all lined up. I am going to tie some of this fuzzy material into the fly. It adds a nice little bushy tail around the bucktail that I have on there. So I'm going to get that to the front. And we're just going to tie this in. A couple of wraps. Don't break my thread again. Well, stuff's hard to tie in. Tight. Yeah, it's just when you got so many of them. But that's okay. So, good couple of wraps in there. You don't want to build it up too much. Now, this is the tricky part. Get all your feathers lined up together. Hold the tips. The whole time we're going to be pulling this material back. We're going to form a crazy bushy body. Pull it back. Wrap it up. Let's get this. Uh-oh. It's dangerous. Okay. Boom. Don't let go of those tips. If you had uh, one of those little vice things, what are they called? Hackle pliers? You a hackle pliers? Yeah, that'd be a lot. I've got a. I've tried using it. It's kind of hard with the. Well, mine sucks for multiple feathers. It's good on a single. Oh, why is my vice doing this? It's hard to hang on to those flies and shanks. My old vice, you you couldn't tie. I mean, because it would put it sideways, right? Yeah, yeah. like I've had to jury rig mine a little bit. So we got yours has the first yours has the cross floor, right? Oh, oh, you go. There we that. go. Beautiful. Well, so come meet me at the the first bunch. Here. I'm just going to take this opportunity to tighten my vice just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Tie this right back. <laughs> um, before I move on, I do like to just. Make sure that I pulled out all the feathers. Looks as though I've missed one somehow. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll just leave it. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the green. Three more large feathers. Once we're past this step, everything starts happening pretty quick. Oh, well, it's happening fast right now. Gosh. Give me some big ones. Not little ones. Bing, bing. Again, line up the tips. See, you, show every, you show them everything, Scotty. I, I just have the feathers sitting off the side. I don't show them nothing. They just get to see. Here we go. All right. Much so, more efficient, that's for sure. Much more efficient? Well, yeah, they get to see everything. So this time I'm going to get rid of the fluffy stuff. I'm just going to tie it in right at the nice feathers. Make sure you go right back to where the yellow stopped. Clip off that, and once again we wrap. Let's get this forward. And we wrap. And wrap. Ben's good at freestyle, not me. I just wrap feathers. Freestyle wrap. Wrap it feathers. That's it. I just wrap feathers. Okay. Bingo. 
<clears throat> That's all I can get. It. One more turn in there. Are you trying Lock to Lock her in. I'm trying. Earthquake in the shop. <laughs> or an elephant. Shop crack. Right. Yeah. There we go. We got this part. Where's my fly gone? Good. What's next? Where's my fly? Right here. There she is. It is right there. What do you right there. Do you have to be the shopper? Uh, yeah. What's this? Lady Amherst, I believe. Oh. I think that's what it's called. Um, this funky stuff. So, to get that in, and I'm doing that for contrasting color. Gets a little bit of dark in here. I'm going to do a doubling loop. I don't know if you've seen that. Doubling loop's pretty easy. You go up, over, use your thumb. Basically, you loop it over top. And that closes the, uh, the end right at the hook. Uh, there's all kinds of dubbing hooks. That's fine. It's just a nice, simple one. Other ones kind of like spin and wrap it up with themselves. Some Nothing wrong with my fingers. With their fingers. Yeah. Some of us still do a little old school. So we're going to grab a plume of this off. And basically, I do have a nice trick. For doing this properly, use a big paper clip. Ah, very good. But I couldn't find mine today, so I don't have it. Um, I'm going to get these tips as close to the thread as possible. I'm going to do a couple wraps to get it tight in there before I attempt to spread it out. So, I've wrapped it up a little bit, and then I'm going to spread these out. I'm going to tighten it some more. If you lose some, don't worry about it. So what's that method you're doing there? Call That's a loop. doubling loop. Perfect. <coughs> I've never sure. done it. I've never and used these. those. I just usually just tie them in like two and then two and then two. That's a good idea. And then these feathers do interlock on themselves. so They come back. like You will separate them and then all of a sudden they're yeah, they tight just, again. They're like it's Velcro like on like, each other. So yeah. you do got to... Got to work them. You have to get in there with your scissors or a needle and separate them as much as you can. All right. So get it nice and tight now. All right. And we're going to wrap this in. Once I get down to the fibers, I am going to pull them back so that they're going down the body. No, I put basically, we're just making a, a collar with this stuff. Keep it nice. Make sure those fibers go back. Now, it's going to look pretty messy, but that's all right, because we are going to get that all covered up. I'm going to tie off my dubbing loop so I can get rid of it. That's that done. I'll bring it in I'm just going to take a quick look at it and move these around. Now I'm going to be tying a lot of fibers on the top, so I'm not really concerned with it being up top. I want it more down on the bottom. Wiring cheap nowadays, huh? Pull this all back, tie it in nice and secure. That's going to keep it from spinning around. So what you got? Look at that. So it's all the way around. Hold me closer, Woo. tiny dancer. Now we do a little rich man's ostrich. <coughs> I got a couple of green. So I'm going to tie in a bunch on each side of the fly here. Let's we'll start on my side. And trim off the waist. And now for your side. So I'm looking forward to extend past the blue stuff and it's going about mid-length of the tail. Boom, that's in. So I got a little on the outsides and now I'm going to do a nice block bunch on the top. So I'm going to take a little bit more than what I did on the sides. So that's our ostrich. Ostrich is nice versus um, marabou because it doesn't uh, collapse as much in the water. And this one I'm going to do the same length as the tail. No, no, four. 
spread it out a bit so it makes the top of the fly. <coughs> Tie that stuff all in nice and tight. Clip off your access. So, I don't know if you guys can see. So, you got the greens, you got the black. It's starting to look like a middle pattern. Now, we're going to put the big chubby chaser head on it. Um, if you do have UV dubbing, that stuff's great to use. I'm all out of it. So, I'm using some uh, seal dubbing. It also has a nice shine. I'm using a very bright green. If I can get it all out here. And one more time, it's the dubbing loop exercise today. <laughs> one more dubbing loop. And this time you can bring your thread right up to the head. You use a lot of dubbing loops, eh? I yeah. do. Just like Ben uses a lot of peacock curl. Love call curl. <laughs> I like the dubbing loop. It keeps everything in there. So I'm putting it in between the two threads. This is quite a large head that we're forming, so we're going to use a lot of dubbing material. If I just wanted a smaller head, then I would just dub it on a straight line, but because I'm using so much material, and I'm trying to get it so that it's longer, nope. I just want to pop it in my case so yep. I can grab it under the top. Oops. Keep her coming. Mm. Should be good, I think. That's good. Yeah. That's so. a nice way to buy all that. See that? Great sit Canadian seal. From Superfly. Alright, we're gonna twist this up. Nice and tight. This is the last step. Alright. So again, like everything else, I'm gonna scoop it towards the back as I'm tying it in. It's gonna be big and ugly. We're gonna comb it out. Right on. All right, so we got to there. That's the biggest portion, the most body. So finish it off. I'll just straight dub it on, just to go around the eyes, and a little bit of the head. So I'm just gonna dive. Yeah. Oh, hunting license. Sorry. So that's synthetic dub in there, except no, you're seal. using hair's mask or something. No, it's seal dubbing. Is seal. It seal. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's got the he's got the hot little package. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm seal dubbing. So that's nice stuff. I'm gonna go around the eyes. Yeah. How much was that? Twenty something bucks, I think. Maybe. See, I just buy the packages and. Yeah. The individual packs. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had, I end up doing that to refill afterwards. But I like those containers. It's nice to have it all in one, especially if you're traveling and shit. Yeah. And you have, and you have it all there without having to take a little tight bit here right in front. And then I'm going to finish it off. So I just need to do a good old whip finish on there. One, two, three, four. Crickety, crickety, quick. One, two, three, four. Are you left handed? Oh, I'm ambidextrous. So you change your hands. That's what I was because I would sometimes do it like the right hand and then do you that left-handed. And then okay, so I'm just gonna loosely pull whatever is left there, stick it back in my box. And the last trick is a little bit of Velcro. I stole a little strap off one of my old jackets. Um, ones with the hooks. And I'm just gonna comb this dubbing back so that it. Profiles up and over, gives it a nice wicked shaped head. And that's it. My daughter still has all the time, but that's, that's pretty nice. nice. Look at that. Well, oh, nice and big. And all you have left to do is grab the hook of your size yeah, and feed it onto your. You better show how to do that because there. that's confusing as well. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. There you go. There's your hook. So we that's got a nice oh, size one. Nice Octopus. big guy. So whatever way you want the hook to ride. Where's my eyes? My eyes are on the bottom. That's the way the fish is going to go. I want my hook down. We're going to take our loop. Make sure there's no twists in it. And I'm going to go up through the bottom. Let's pinch it closed here. So my hook up through the bottom. 
if I can get it through. Get in there. Just pinch it. Oh, that's a sharp hook. Oh, oh, damn, good. oh nice. Ooh. Are we going to get blood? I don't know. Oh, oh, there we go. So, up through the bottom. Here, put it in the camera a little bit better so you can yeah. see what we're doing there. Just let me fiddle here. Get this open so we can do it. So you pulled it through the eyelet. So, and then you're going to slide the loop over see? the hook. The entire hook? Up through the bottom. Open the gap. Yes. It goes around. And then pull it Simple loop-to-loop the -loop connection there. Just like your loop-to-loop, -loop, exactly. And then pull it tight. And that's your trailer. There you go, Friday Night Flies. Whoa. And then uh, Scotty Holmes promises to have a shorter demo. <laughs> I do not. <laughs>